Welcome back to Galveston Island State Park. Several years ago, we brought you a video from this park, and right after that, the park closed and has been closed now for several years, undergoing extensive renovations. So we're back. We're excited that this time we're staying at both the beachside campground and the bayside campground, and we're going to share what they've done with this park. So stick around while we show you around Galveston Island State Park. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Stacy. I'm Tom and we're RV Texas y'all. We are native Texans and full-time RVers who are all about exploring the great state of Texas and beyond one campground at a time. We're on a mission to experience life, not just live it, and we're bringing you along for the fun. In 2018, we sold our house, our business, and got rid of most everything we owned to hit the road and see America. Our home is a 33-foot RV named Freedom. We installed an extreme solar and lithium setup so now we can just about live anywhere with our dog Star and our cat Astro. Every day is a new adventure, so join us as we RV America, y'all. One of the very first and most noticeable updates to the park is the all-new park headquarters. This is located on the beach side of the park, and this is the place that all visitors check in for camping. Whether you have reservations to camp on the beach side or the bay side, this is your starting point. There is also a self-check-in fee box on both sides of the park for day-use visitors who come in before or after office hours. Uh, this is one of those fee, box, fee boxes, as you see. Um, we actually filmed a video here before, and if you'd like to see what Galveston Island State Park looked like beat back in 2019 before the renovations, we'll link to that video in the description in case you want to do a little comparison of the work that they've done. But the, the uh, park headquarters has uh, some great amenities as well as you know, souvenirs, sunglasses, sunblock, things you might have forgotten. And they're a great source of information on what's going on in the area as well. Uh, Galveston Island State Park is a truly unique park with a split personality, you might say. From, from its name, you can probably guess that it's located on Galveston Island, which is a barrier island in southeast Texas, about an hour from Houston. And if you've been with us for a while, then you probably also know that Galveston Island is one of our absolute favorite places to spend time. There are so many great mom and pop restaurants, shops, historic sites, museums, and other uniquely fun things to do on the island that we highly recommend scheduling enough time here to enjoy the fun in Galveston as well as your time in the park. As we were exploring the day use area here on the beach side, yeah, we saw the one concessionaire who is set up today, but there are actually pedestals and water that they could have for, it looks like, concessionaires or maybe food trucks, service providers uh, right here in the day use area, which is also right next to the camping area, the um, right here. So if they had folks set up right here, it would be super easy to get to them from anywhere here on the beach side. That, that's pretty neat. Super convenient. A self-serve kind of thing. I'm gonna take my time I don't A lot of nice picnic areas here and a, a bunch of parking for day use and I mean a bunch of little pavilions and a big pavilion that I don't know if you have to rent that but uh, a nice size pavilion back there so there's two of them 
There's a couple of those. There's actually a third one right there. There's a third one? Yeah, right here on this road. Oh, yep, sure is. There's a third one right here. And lots of trash cans. I love that. Yeah, that's nice. Yep, here's one of the pavilion areas. Yeah, very nice. And you do have beach access right over there. And uh, yeah, very, very nice. Well, well done. And restrooms on both sides, looks like, of the day use area. Oh yeah, sure is. And they have showers on both sides as well. Do they? They have showers on this side? Yep, right there. Nice. Oh, yeah. And all of this is brand new. So this is a feature that we don't see in a lot of Texas state parks. The new beach side of Galveston Island State Park actually has a dry camping area. If you're not able to get a spot, uh, down where the electric and water sites are, or you just don't care to have the electric and water hookups, there's actually dry camping sites. They are concrete paved. You get a picnic table and a fire pit and a view of the Gulf of Mexico. So as we're taking you right now through the main uh, RV and tent camping section on the beach side of the park, I gotta tell you, look at all this extra parking they put in. They did a fantastic job with the renovations. Uh, that's the bathhouse right there. And we were really happy with this side of the park. Now you might be interested to know that Galveston Island State Park sits at a whopping one foot above sea level. So historically, tropical storms and hurricanes have done quite a number on the infrastructure of this park. And the most recent large storm, Hurricane Ike, hit Galveston in September 2008. Now, Ike did a lot of damage to the city of Galveston despite the protection of the seawall uh, because the water rose up from the bay. But this part of the coast, just six miles west of the city of Galveston, uh, this part of the coast doesn't have protection from storm surges. There is no seawall. So even though the state park reopened just a few months after sustaining damage from Hurricane Ike, it's great to see it all shiny and new again after the three years of renovations. So right here at the campground on the beach side of the park, they've got several access points with paved paths to get to the beach. We can hear it. Let's go see it. The shrimp boats are out. on this stretch of the Texas Gulf Coast to see shrimp boats not far off of land. 
I always think it's kind of neat. And there's nothing like fresh gold shrimp. <laughs> Welcome to our second campsite here on the beach side of Galveston Island State Park. We're not even close to the end of the video yet, so stick with me here for a second. We started out here, we got, a day, we got here a day early, and luckily we called ahead and they had a spot, and we were actually in site number 14 for one night, which is right across from us here. And then we moved to site seven, and this is site seven. It is a 30 and 50 amp electric uh, and water site, which all of the campsites here on the beach side in the RV and tent camping section, which is the primary camping section on the beach side of the park, all are 30 and 50 amp uh, electric and water, uh, with the exception obviously of the park host sites that are full hookup. Uh, you have, this is all completely new. Uh, this is part of the work that they did on the renovation of the park when it was closed for the past, gosh, I guess three years. Uh, and so now what you've got is all new internal park roads. Uh, our site is a paved uh, campsite for, you know, we've got a pavement to park on, concrete actually to park on. Very level. By oh, way. yes. Very level um, and deep. Um, anybody could fit in this site you can see that we've got our rv our motorhome is just under 34 feet we are not we could have gone back further there is a block at the back but we could have backed up further and we still had plenty of room for our jeep gladiator in the front with room to spare uh, so the site size is really nice every site over here comes with a fire pit and a covered uh picnic table on concrete and then you've got grass between you know in the rest of your site uh, which star has absolutely loved uh, the dump station is actually right there for this side of the park it is only a single dump unfortunately i'm not sure why they didn't choose when they were redoing it to put in one going each direction but just so you know uh, we were sitting out here yesterday was sunday so a lot of folks were leaving and there was quite a line for the dump station. So if you're planning to use it on this side of the park, make sure you plan ahead. The other camping options on the beach side before we move, because we will be moving to the bay side, the other uh, camping options over here, uh, they have platform tent camping, which is very unique. I don't think I've ever seen that in another Texas state park to this point, but you actually rent a wooden platform and there are uh, areas to tie down your tent so that you're up off the ground. You're actually camping on that and they've got a concessionaire who's coming in that will also be renting out pre-made tents with various amenities. So that's kind of neat. Uh, they've got another tent camping area uh, and they also have, which is a park and walk into, and then of course they've got the dry camping area, which would be another area an RV could go to. Those sites are really neat as well. Again, fully concrete paved, nice and long. Uh, you don't get the covered structure down there, but you do get a picnic table. The other thing that you don't get uh, in that dry camping area is easy access to the beach. You could go over the dunes, but there's not a concrete established walkway like we have down here. And that's something that I've really enjoyed is it's so easy to get to the beach from this campground. Day use area is right back here behind me. Uh, the bathrooms uh, for this camping area, that's the bathrooms that all of that camping shares. So uh, if you are further down in the dry camping area or the tent camping area, the closest restrooms would be the ones in this camping loop. Now we are about to have a huge travel day. We're going to be moving from this spot over to a site in the Bayside camping loop. Uh, so, hey, let's get packed up and get over there and see what the Bayside looks like these days because it also has undergone renovation. What do you think, Star? 
door. Now we're going to go into the bay side of the park and this is where you'll find the fee center for the day use self check-in visits for this side of the park. This is actually the old nature center. I'm not sure what the plans are for this building at this point but we would love to see that redeveloped. It's also important here to note that the entrances currently between the beach side and the bay side are not <laughs> lined up directly across the road from each other so you'll want to be sure to watch your signs to make sure you don't miss your turn. Now we mentioned that this park has a split personality and as you drive from the city of Galveston to Jamaica Beach, you actually drive right through this park. The beach side is on the Gulf of Mexico side of the road and the bay side is, well, it's on the Galveston Bay side. Each side offers a completely different experience and we highly recommend making time to explore both sides during your visit. One of the surprising facts about Galveston Island State Park is that before it was a state park, it was actually a cattle ranch. Now, not something you'd probably expect from this area, but absolutely true. In fact, beyond its RV and tent camping, Galveston Island State Park offers two lodges from its days as a cattle ranch, the Ranch House and the Stewart House. And those are two and three bedrooms, respectively. The Bayside Lodges are currently being renovated, but that would be a great choice for families or groups of six to eight people who maybe they're not into camping, but they still want to spend time in the park. And again, those are over here on the bay side of the park. Uh, you'll see the kayak put-ins, fishing areas. Um, this is a very quiet, less traveled side of the park. This section we're going to take you into here, this is the tent camping loop for the bay side of the park and what's different about the tent camping loop on this side is you see they actually you can drive up to your site you don't have to park and walk in so it is unique from the beach side And just past that tent loop, you'll find the RV loop for the Bayside Camping. And we're going to talk more about this loop later in the video, but this gives you an idea of what it looks like now following the renovations. So the bay side of Galveston Island State Park is completely different from the beach side. And we've just pulled in, gotten into our spot, and uh, we're driving around the park seeing what they've changed. And this is not a change, but we really like this overlook right over here. So we're going to take the Clapper Rail Trail just a short distance to get to this overlook. been to this overlook before on previous visits to the park, but based on this wood, I'd say this has been newly redone.
One of the great things about the bay side of the park are the hiking trails. Now this 2,000 acre park opened as a state park in 1975. It's home to 12 unique ecosystems, including everything from open gulf water to beach, coastal dunes, strand prairie, which is a mix of freshwater wetlands and brackish wetland prairie, freshwater marshes, lagoons, saltwater marshes, seagrass meadows, open bay waters, truly a unique, unique experience. And because of this diversity, bird watchers have a wide variety of species to enjoy. In fact, the park reports that over 300 unique species of birds have been spotted within the park boundaries. Welcome to our campsite here on the bay side of Galveston Island State Park. This is site number 106. It is a 50 and 30 amp electric and water site and there is a dump station right on the park road as you're coming in and out of the park. Uh, you pass it on the way to the campground. This is the RV camping loop here on the bay side. There's also a tent camping loop uh, right next door before you come in to this side or before you get to this campground. And that's where the restrooms and showers are for this side of the park. Uh, all of the sites here in this loop are 30 and 50 amp electricity with water. Uh, there are no full hookup sites in this side of the park and uh, just like the park in general. Uh, and they do have now all of the new concrete pads. When they did the renovation to the park, they didn't just work on the beach side. They also closed down the bay side and repaved all of the roads, put in new concrete for all of the parking pads, and it's fantastic. If you had been to the park before the renovations, then you would know that the park roads were really in need of repair. Now they are fantastic. You can drive any rig in here and not be worried about the roads. Now I will say, yes, you can drive any rig into this side on the bay side, but I don't think I would recommend the bay side campground for big rigs. And it's not about getting in and around at this point. It's about the campground itself and the size of the campsites. The, you might see behind me, the campground here on the bay side is built in a wagon wheel, basically. Uh, and all of these sites can just back in all the way around the wagon wheel. We chose 106 because it has the largest yard. It's the last site right near the entrance and exit to the campground, and we've got some elbow room, but that is not the case with most of these sites. Most of these sites, the camping area is pretty small. You're right next to your neighbor. You do have a picnic table, uh, but there's no shade structure over the picnic table on this side. Um, and bigger rigs, you know, it's not about getting to the campground, it's more about making sure that everything fits in your site because there is no additional parking over on this side of the park. So if you've got a big fifth wheel or a big travel trailer with a truck, a, or if you've got a motor home and you're towing, you may have trouble fitting your tow vehicle inside with your RV. 
Uh, we are third, just under 34 feet on ours. Uh, we tow a Jeep Gladiator, which is the truck. We backed all the way up as far as we could into the spot. They do have the tire barriers about two feet from the back of the uh, site. So you lose about two feet of your site as far as where your tires can go. And we had to do a little maneuvering to fit with the, uh, with the truck. When we had the 99 Jeep Wrangler, it was smaller. It was easier to fit in here. But the good thing about this side of the park and what makes it unique is where on the beach side you've got pelicans and seagulls and sandpipers and access to the beach on this side it's the bay side so you've got direct access to galveston bay there are three kayak put in points here i can see from where i'm standing one of those kayak points and there's a, a the same vendor that was on the beach side with bicycles and things also rents kayaks and bicycles on the bay side here uh, you can fish on this side in the bay and the bird watching here are the marsh birds things like herons and egrets and curlews so it's a completely different experience so we hope you've enjoyed this video this update on galveston island state park you're also not far from the all the stuff to, there is to do in Galveston, which y'all know we absolutely love. And speaking of Galveston, we have another short travel day today because from here we head just a couple of miles to the other side of the village of Jamaica Beach to our winter home, Jamaica Beach RV Resort. So make sure you're subscribed so you'll be along for more fun we also have a lot of other texas state park videos that i will link to in the description in case you'd like to check those out and we'll see you next time safe travels and happy camping bye